Hello, welcome back to March and Maths. Today we have our guest, guest presenters doing geometrical floral designs. Okay, as you can see, we've got some circles and some beautiful patterns made here. Our students have used, what is this here? What uh, device? Compass. A compass. All you need is a compass and a pencil and some paper. So my guest presenters are going to show me how we do that and we can talk about the designs in a second. Right, so let's go for it. So first, so first you, you draw a circle. Okay. A circle. Yeah, you're, you're spinning the paper and holding the compass at the same place. Sometimes that, that, that's easier to work. Yeah. Okay, so you've got and a then circle you choose, there. And then you choose any point of the, uh, the circle circumference. Yeah. And then you draw like a, a line going through the center. Okay. Like that. All the way to the other side? Yes. Okay. And then you choose another point, uh, the, like from the arc. So you move your point to the, to the edge of the arc where it meets the circumference. And then you draw another um, line going through the center. Okay. And then you keep repeating that. And then you keep repeating that. And then you go to the next one. And you want to see, you want to go all the way to the circumference there. You yeah, keep spinning that compass. Make sure the compass and the pencil are and sharp and they meet. Make petals like this. Okay. So I can see the, oh. the petals being uh, created there. If your pencil is sharp and your compass is uh, secure, then you should be able to make these quite accurate. And then we're getting uh, three petals made there. Three, four petals. And how many petals should we get in total? Six. Six. Okay. So one more petal to complete there. So here we go. There we go. So there's our geometric uh, shape, a floral design. You've got symmetry, you've got reflection, you've got rotation. Wonderful. And as we look, we can see what some of those uh, finished products look like once we have colored them in. But there's something else we can do using a compass. Uh, what can you do there? With that same idea of getting those six corners, what shapes do you make there? A hexagon. Okay, and... With equilateral triangles, a trapezium, like this there. And, and a rhombus. You put two equilateral triangles together, you get a rhombus there, trapezium there. Very nice, and some, I think I saw one design where there was a, a floral pattern inside a hexagon. Another idea we could do is... Put more petals on the side by simply, instead of doing, um, starting from here, you could start from in between the petals here, and then you go like that. And you can get this multi-petal effect uh, like a real flower there. That's wonderful. Let's see those last designs just for that last second just to show the finished products there. Brilliant. So we've got some wonderful, creative, colorful maths to display. And there's our final one. Brilliant. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks and goodbye from all. Bye!